Diane Macedo, we're interrupting your regular programming with breaking news. The New York Attorney General has just announced the findings of an investigation into New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Let's listen. The independent investigation has concluded that Governor Andrew Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women and in doing so violated federal and state law. Specifically, the investigation found that Governor Andrew Cuomo sexually harassed current and former New York State employees by engaging in unwelcome and non-consensual touching and making numerous offensive comments of a suggestive and sexual nature that created a hostile work environment for women. The investigators independently corroborated and substantiated these facts through interviews and evidence, including contemporaneous notes and communications. This evidence will be made available to the public along with the report. This investigation was started after a number of women publicly alleged that they had been sexually harassed by Governor Cuomo. And on March 1st of this year, the governor's office made a referral to my office pursuant to State Executive Law 638 regarding these allegations. Executive Law Section 6338 permits the New York Attorney General's office with the approval of the governor or when directed by the governor to inquire into matters concerning the public peace, the public safety, and public justice. This referral issued by the governor enabled my office to appoint independent outside investigators. So again, you're listening to, to the New York Attorney General Addison James 8, just announcing an investigation found New York's Antarctic Governor Cuomo June sexually June. harassed multiple they women, retaliated against one woman who came deputies. forward and created a hostile work environment. Kelly, James launched that investigation after several women accused Cuomo of inappropriate kisses and touching or inappropriate sexual remarks. The governor has apologized in public for, quote, making people feel uncomfortable but he had vehemently denied any wrongdoing in this case. I want to bring in senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky and ABC News legal analyst Dan Abrams for more on this. Aaron, the attorney general describes what she calls a disturbing and clear picture painted by this investigation. Walk us through some of these key findings. Yeah, she called it conduct by Governor Cuomo that corrodes the very fabric and character of state government. Diane, over the last four months, investigators that she appointed found that Governor Cuomo sexually harassed multiple women, including nine current or former state employees. These women interacted with Governor Cuomo in a number of different circumstances. They also interacted, investigators said, with a state police trooper who acted as Cuomo's driver, and he is named in this report as well. This investigation found non-consensual touching and suggestive comments that created what James called a toxic work environment. Diane, there's been no immediate comment from Governor Cuomo. In recent weeks, though, he has sought to undermine the integrity of the investigation, calling into question whether June Kim, the former prosecutor, led it at the behest of Tish James was truly independent because as a prosecutor, he had investigated some in Cuomo's orbit. Uh, he has also sought to cast doubt on the women's stories. And at first, after saying that he apologized for making anyone feel uncomfortable. He has said people will be shocked when they hear his side of the story. So far, though, the side presented by Tish James appears to corroborate much of what we heard uh, over the last several months about Cuomo's behavior. And uh, Tish James said that it, it does corrode the fabric of state government. And Dan, the attorney general said very clearly in that press conference that the governor violated federal and state law. So what could this mean for Cuomo legally? Right. So I think we need to separate out civil from potential criminal. And what this exactly means is a legal matter. So the attorney general here had the authority to compel testimony, to force the production of documents, but not pursuant to criminal law. This is basically in order to issue a report, which it sounds like, of course, she's going to do. And it is devastating to Governor Cuomo. But if there's going to be a criminal charge, at least at this point, it would still have to be brought by the local district attorneys. That is not what she's been empowered to do here. And that's why you have to listen very carefully to the different kinds of allegations here. 
meaning there is a difference as a legal matter in the criminal law between comments versus unwanted touching, meaning an unwanted touching could be a criminal charge. Unwanted comments are more likely to be considered sexual harassment, subject to possible civil uh, lawsuit. So we'll see what happens from here. Remember, the state assembly is also doing its own investigation. So, so one might say, well, this report is inevitably going to lead to, for example, impeachment proceedings in the state assembly. Not necessarily the case because the assembly is doing its own investigation. So this is an important uh, and devastating for the governor first piece in this. But there are a lot of additional questions that still need to be answered about what happens next. There sure are. And federal investigators were already reportedly looking into concerns that Cuomo's administration withheld data about nursing home deaths in New York at the height of the pandemic. He's also under an assembly investigation as well. The governor has long, again, denied these charges and has asked the public and fellow lawmakers to withhold judgment until the investigation was over. So we will be now waiting to see if we hear more from the governor. In the meantime, we'll return to your original programming.